Good evening from New York. I'm Chris Hayes. Last night we brought you the news of the secret three-page deal that Kevin McCarthy hammered out with the ultra MAGA members of his caucus in exchange for what already looks like the weakest speakership in modern history. As Punchbowl News first reported, that secret add-on to the rules package that passed the House last night includes the most controversial concessions McCarthy made, quote, three seats on the Rules Committee for Conservatives, freezing spending at fiscal year 2022 levels, a debt ceiling strategy, coveted committee assignments, and more. Now, Speaker Kevin McCarthy, a man you could certainly take it as word, right, wants you to know that, don't worry, no such deal exists a figment of our collective imagination. In a closed-door conference meeting today, McCarthy reportedly told members that there is no secret three-page addendum to the rules package. That, however, is a little hard to square with the fact that some members of Congress have actually seen the three-page document. Ken Calvert of California, for example, member of the steering committee, told Axios, quote, we're taking a look at it, we're just going through it, adding that he did not know if everybody received a copy. South Dakota Congressman Dusty Johnson claims he is not, quote, at liberty to discuss the document in question, but said there's pretty widespread understanding of the context of it, which certainly doesn't sound like a it's not existent. So here's the thing. The secret deal pretty clearly does exist, but it's more of a symptom than the cause of the problem. You see, it is a symptom of the fact that the Republican Party, in both its current MAGA incarnations and even its previous non-MAGA incarnations, does not have a broadly popular agenda. Republicans have lost the popular vote in every presidential election but one since the year 2000. And they had, quite notably, disappointing results in the last two elections, the midterm elections particularly, particularly last November when they barely eked out a win in the House, defying historical precedent. And that was due, at least in part, to the fact they ran on a bevy of Fox News-friendly causes, catering to the most fervid delusions of their base. They ran on an agenda of election denialism, trans swimmers, rampant marauders taking over your cities, and Hunter Biden's explicit selfies. That agenda, that Fox News agenda, underperformed so severely that it left Kevin McCarthy in a dicey situation, one in which he does not have a large majority of 20 to 30 members. In fact, just five members can get together and essentially hold Kevin McCarthy hostage. That's what we saw play out last week. That is why we now have this secret deal, which shows how deep the rot is in the Republican Party. It is now time for Kevin McCarthy and his party to actually formulate a governing agenda, something other than, say, a special committee devoted to Hunter Biden's laptop. But again, the not-so-hidden dirty secret is that they have nothing new to offer. There is no big Republican policy vision for the country. It's the same story, the same one you know. They want to cut taxes for rich people, cut IRS enforcement for rich people, cut spending for everyone else, and go after the most popular sacrosanct programs in the country, the social insurance that came from the New Deal and the Great Society, like Social Security and Medicare. Now, they didn't even really try to hide it during last year's campaign, although they were a little cagey about it. You remember, this was a little controversy we covered, actually. Before the midterms, you got Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, who's nothing if not canny, who just straight up refused to release an agenda. He said, we're, we're not running on anything, I'll tell you when we win. Nothing to see here, didn't want Senate Republicans to run on anything. But Senator Rick Scott of Florida, chair of the National Republican Senatorial Committee, did create a plan and made it public. His 12-point plan to rescue America called for all federal legislation, including Social Security and Medicare, to expire after five years. And Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson went even further. He suggested Congress should have to reapprove Social Security and Medicare every year. Now, President Joe Biden, on the campaign trail in the midterms for Democrats, smartly picked up on this and laid into Republicans for it. Now, let's take a look at our Republican friends. Do you know what the number one priority is? Not a joke. The, the, the interesting thing about these guys, they're accidentally being honest because they're, they're just saying it out loud what they're for. They're coming after Social Security and Medicare. Now, one Sean Hannity over Fox News took great umbrage to that, even claiming that Joe Biden was lying to elderly people. Let's lie to uh, senior citizens and scare them to death with lies about Republicans. They want to take away your Social Security and Medicare and cut it. Okay, not a single Republican has ever said it. No Republican supports it. No Republican supports it. Are you sure about that, Sean? I mean, they definitely said it and supported it before the election, and they still do now. And guess what? We have a photo to prove it. 
because this is a picture of a slide reportedly shown in a Republican conference meeting today that lays out the budget and spending priorities for the next few years for the MAGA House. This appears to include some of the elements of Kevin McCarthy's secret three-page deal. And if you look closely at the second line, you'll see they, they are planning, quote, reforms to budget process and mandatory spending programs. That sounds anodyne, but for those not familiar with the euphemism, mandatory spending programs are, drum roll, Social Security, Medicare. They're the parts of the budget that run on autopilot. They are not voted on every year. They're not subject to that. They're not subject to the normal budget process. They're not voted on just like Ron Johnson and Rick Scott would like them to be voted on. And lo and behold, sitting right here, bullet number two of the ultra secret PowerPoint that Kevin McCarthy showed his Republican caucus about their governing agenda just a few days after cutting a secret deal with the MAGA right wing of the party, the plan to cut Social Security and Medicare. It's just as Joe Biden warned. But here's the thing. By and large, I think, sadly for the country, the Republican Party really has given up on majority rule, or at least they've kind of given up on persuading a broad majority of people. They have some become so entrenched in their own toxic little world, they're going to try and negotiate all of this in secret. It's a kind of vanguardist strategy. So what they're going to do is 20 people of the caucus hold Kevin McCarthy hostage and they hammer out this deal, and then they basically use a hostage negotiation tactic with the debt ceiling to ram this down the American people's throats. But there's an upside. And again, it's what I said at the top. None of this is popular. And they're not going to be able to hide it for much longer.